meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's a look at your forecast. Today the weather gets worse. It's actually not bad early this morning. It's about 40 and then it gets raw. We get some rain developing late morning, midday. Rain will then change to snow. It's a sloppy finish to the day. 41, 42 and falling and then lower 30s for the evening hours. So what to expect? Yeah, sloppy is a good way of working it, wording it. And raw is another way of wording it. It's just, you go outside anytime from noon to five or six. It's not going to be fun to be outside because it's either a cold rain or it's rain changing to snow or snow, depending on where you are and when you go outside. And you'll see that on the future cast. We are going to track some accumulation this afternoon and evening. Overall, all things considered, this is not a major system. But having said that, some spots will see much less, either a melting trace, which is nothing, to locally up to five inches. We'll show you where the best chance of five inches will be in a minute. Once this thing goes by, well, then tomorrow and Saturday gets colder. I think the toughest travel this afternoon and evening will be the North Country, the Lakeshore communities, and the highest elevations this afternoon and this evening. And there's that colder weather as you look ahead for Friday and the weekend. So let's just get right to it. Eight o'clock is still dry. Now around nine or 10, there may be a passing sprinkle. You'll see a little green blip. And then at 11 a.m., the steady rain starts. There's the blip and there's the steadier rain. Notice that around noon, we're already seeing that changeover right along the Lake Ontario shoreline in North Country. And then the rain snow line tries to move a little further southeast to finish the day. Now I don't expect very much accumulation for much of central New York due to that rain snow line being borderline and the fact that temperatures are not that close to freezing. So if you're in the light blue, anywhere from nothing, the trace technically means you see snowflakes, but it doesn't stick to maybe an inch or two on lawns and trees. So overall, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal for Syracuse. If you're in the dark blue, I think you're assured of an inch at least and an inch at least for the lawns and trees and cars in this area to the south. This is probably an inch or two, maybe three at the most for any elevation and any surface with the best chance for lawns, farms and trees and cars. The best chance for the five would be the Tug Hill Plateau and the higher elevations of northeastern Oneida, northern Herkimer and Hamilton counties, maybe Old Forge and the highest peaks might squeeze out three, four, five inches. Again, not a big deal, but wanted to let you know about it. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, passing sprinkle or flurry, maybe a peak of sun. Overall, mid 30s is about the best we're going to do for a high temperature on Friday. Some leftover flurries and snow showers and breaks in the clouds for Friday night to Saturday morning. And then on Saturday, it gets even colder. Our weather is flurry kind of and, and some sun, but we're not getting out of the 20s. The high of 26 that I have for you is 20 degrees below normal. We're nowhere near, nowhere near what it's supposed to be like for the end of March. Not much sun either in the forecast. The precipitation probability is very, very high. One may say sky high. The rain snow combination, the chance for precipitation today is about 100%. It is going to do something today. It will definitely rain and probably end in some snow. Flurries tomorrow and Saturday, and then some minor systems coming through. There's your seven day forecast. You can get more information anytime, anywhere. CNY Central.